I'm back. I'm stronger than ever. And I'm coming for you, Barbell Medicine. Hell and Thrall, I'm coming for you. He's a sucker. Yeah, I'm headed to Tahiti tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Tahiti, huh? Joe! Hey, what's up, baby? I paid you two grand for my programming, never got it. What's up with that? Nah, uh, I'm headed to Tahiti to work on your programming. Yeah, I'm not buying it. All right. How much do I owe you? I don't want money. Well, then what do you want? I want this gym, or else. Or else what? All right, now that that has been settled and I'm the new proud owner of this gym, we gotta see what's going on. But first, we gotta take all that stupid pair of glasses and hats you got going on. Yeah, the chain's gotta come off too. Okay. All right, so first off, since you messed up the opportunity to have me as your athlete and I just got back from Worlds in Ukraine, we need some strongman equipment. So, what do we got strongman wise at the Untamed Future Lions Den Part 2? Okay, so the main event over here, we got Atlas Stones. So, we got 100 pounds all the way up to 365 pounds. And we got a stone loading platform here, uh, ascending height from 41 inches all the way up to 59 inches. We got tractor tires from 200 pounds all the way up to 800 pounds. We got sleds. I'm kind of fascinated with uh, what we got over here on the shelf. So explain to me what these bad boys are, what weights we got going on. So these are Husafel stones. We got two different models. This one here is the classic, and this one's got the, the T arms here. Uh, a lot of this stuff is made by Beast Metals, which is a local company in Northern California. The Beast Metals yoke here. Uh, Beast Metals farmers tanks. These were actually Fingal's fingers in a competition that I hosted, and he went and cut them up and turned them into tanks. We've got uh, circus dumbbells, which is just an oversized dumbbell. This one is 100 pounds empty, 130 pounds empty, uh, 60 pounds empty, and they're all plate loadable, so they'll fit uh, up to 25 pound plates inside. Um, we got this power stairs or duck walk implement. It was actually used in uh, one of the first well, a nationals a long time ago uh, for the women, the power stairs. And I somehow, someone in Sacramento was selling it, so. Uh, kegs from 80 pounds up to 275 pounds. Sandbags from 60 pounds all the way up to 275. I got tires there for deadlifting. We actually put a cap inside that fits a standard barbell. Uh, so that you can slide the barbell in and out. We got some more farmer stakes up here. All right, I'm fascinated. First of all, how many square feet am I gonna be able to play with now? 4,000. 4, 80 feet long, 50 feet wide. All right, I like it, it's a good amount of space. Now, obviously you guys do what, like sleds here? Right here is for the sleds, the yoke stuff inside, inside? Yes, yeah, so you can do all the strongman stuff in here. Tire flips, sleds, uh, medleys. If, uh, usually we go outside, we roll up the doors, we go outside to the back parking lot. If it's raining outside, uh, usually we're in here. Right, right on. And then, so, now coming in here, there's some things I have never seen before. So kind of give me a rundown of what we got along this wall. Like just real quick, like bang, 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 kind of what we got cooking. Yeah, this is a chest supported row or a seal row that you lay on and then you do uh, chest supported rows. This is from Watson Equipment in the UK. This is a belt squat machine. You hook this harness up to your waist and you stand up, pull this in, and then you squat just like that. 
Space Metals made that. This is a row, uh, west side reverse hyper. I'm sure you've seen this. Back extension kind of thing. My this bad. is a GHR glue ham race and back extensions from Rogue. Leg extension, leg curl from Elite FTS. This is Brandon Allen's vert pole. We got some wagon wheels over there and some Rogue competition kilo plates. I like it, I like it. Cool. And then uh, over on this side, this is what primarily we're going to be doing all the uh, squat, benching, and deadlifting. So just give us a rundown on. Let's do like the odd bars that you got going on in here. So I see some logs, I'm about them. And then I see a whole bunch of stuff in the back. So maybe just run through some of the, the odd bars that you have going on here. Yep, we have four logs, eight inch, two 10 inch logs, and one 12 inch log. Uh, three of them are beast metals. One of them is rogue from 55 pounds up to 180 pounds empty. They're all plate loadable, obviously. Uh, the bars over here. We've got all kinds of different bars. We've got axle bars, multiple different axle bars. We've got farmer's handles. We've got uh, fat grip farmer's handles in the back. They're the size of an axle bar. Uh, all these barbells here that are marked the red tape are the junk beater bars that we use for rack pulls and stuff like that. Uh, these are safety squat bars. So this bar here is an original camber bar. This is a safety squat bar. And this is a camber safety squat bar. Uh, we also got a trap bar, football bar. Bunch of different little, we got grip implements in the back. So we're these bad boys. Yeah, all kinds of grip implements. We've got from a Rolling Thunder to the Sornex Rolling Thunder. Uh, we've got a few different, just bigger kind of homemade stuff block down there. Uh, we've got a, a loading pin right here for duck walk that you load with plates. Uh, and then just a bunch of attachments for the lap pull downs, different grip attachments, tricep press downs, single cables. Uh, we got a few of these mag grips. Have you ever used one of these? Yeah. It's really nice the way that, have you used one? They're awesome, yeah. yeah. We, I got these one at Charles Gym. They're like, yeah, it's pretty cool. Cool. Let's, uh, let's travel over here. Well, first of all, I see a light press. That's pretty sweet. Yeah. So where'd you get this from? Let's deal with this bad boy. Both these. This leg press was just from a commercial gym that was closing down. I bought it off the Craigslist, and I actually, it was white. I painted it black with a uh, textured truck liner, uh, and I'd say it looks pretty clean. Yeah, it looks, um, looks kind of brand new, obviously. Yeah, yep. So. And then this is the Elite FTS hack squat that I recently purchased. Oh. This All is right. the Elite FTS lap pull down. Lap pull downs here, or you know, tricep extensions. Um, and then there's a seated, you attach this up to the top here, there's a seated uh, little cable holder that you can use. How many power racks do you have total in this gym? There are eight, eight, racks? eight power racks, yeah. That's good power racks. Uh, people always like to know what brands they are. Uh, they're all rogue. There's a few uh, Titan squat racks also. And then, uh, do you know how much iron you have effectively in this gym? Oh man, no, I know that I, uh, I don't remember the exact pounds. I did calculate that once. But I think I calculated it to be that uh, every every bench, every squat rack, and every platform, if it was being used, could handle 495 oh, okay. uh, all around. Yeah. So uh, yeah, there's a lot of 45 pound plates in here. Now let's go check out the, the, uh, the dumbbells. Interested in the dumbbells? We got here. Yeah, dumbbells. Dumbbells are probably the least impressive collection, but from five all the way up to one uh, fifty. Okay. And uh, we got almost every jump from five pound uh, in five pound increments. Uh, I did buy these from someone's garage a long time ago, and so we're missing some dumbbells. But what are these little things? They look like uh, pots. Yeah, these are the olives. Big olives. They look like called the martini press. Okay. Um, but you don't put black olives in martinis, so it's kind of a bad joke. <laughs> um, these are called fat bells, and it's a hybrid between a dumbbell and a kettlebell. Right. So uh, it's the main use of it is if you were to do like swing and press. Good press, yeah. With a kettlebell, you don't have to worry about the thing like you know snapping back like that. Uh, but these are the Thompson fat bells. 
We got slingshots. Yeah, we got slingshots. boards to press from. I see a bunch of weightlifting shoes. There must be people that actually train here. <laughs> yeah, you got some members to go along with the gym. <laughs> Very cool, very cool. Easy Pro Bar. Yeah, this is one of the uh, most important pieces of equipment here in this gym. So. This is for his max effort day. Yep. Clearly what he had on the bar. I need to get some band attachments for this thing. Well, there's plenty of bands. I see those in the walls. You need reverse band attachments. So if I'm an Olympic lifter, can I Olympic lift in this gym? Oh, you bet you can. Okay. We got our new weightlifting platform. So finally, we got an eight by eight platform in here. Nice. Um, and then the rogue jerk blocks with the bumpers. These are these new? Yes. They look very new and very heavy. Uh, so the reason I got the Olympic lifting platform is because there are a few members in here who do Olympic lifting, not competitively. They want to in the future. Yep. Uh, but there's also a lot of big guys doing, well, anyone doing axle bar cleaning press, log press, uh, and it's you're really limited on deadlift platform to have only four feet. So I made an eight by eight. So you can do so you log these, presses. These, uh, comp plates over here. To yeah. Make fan of. I got the comp plates, uh, and the reason I didn't get kilos is because one, they were out of stock, so I just bought pounds. I two, if there's people doing uh, log press and all that, it's just kind of silly to have kilo bumpers on a log. Right on, right on. So I guess pounds. now that I'm getting the keys to this place, what's the biggest thing you're gonna miss from this gym, equipment-wise? What's your What's your top piece of equipment? Uh, this one. This squat rack. Yeah? This is the first thing that I bought wow. for my garage before I started on Tim's train. But I knew I wanted to. Uh, it's still here. Is this the one that's in the old videos with you in the garage? Yeah. This is it right here? This is the spot. Wow, like I, I can feel the energy actually in my palm right now. Yep. All the hard work you've put in this place. You're really going to miss it, aren't you? <laughs> now, quick question too. So, gym owner, right? I'm starting out. What would you say are going to be the basic pieces of equipment that you need for the gym? Like, so if it was just in terms of prioritizing, top couple things. Uh, things worth the money, right? So not to be cheap about, what would you say? You need a good plunger and a good toilet scrubber because you're gonna clean more poop splatter off that toilet than you're comfortable with. What are you laughing at? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I would say, in, in my opinion, good barbells because I've, I've literally had people come into the gym and say, can I look at your barbells? Uh, sure. And they take a look at them and go, yeah, I'd like to join. So people, wow, will, really? people will join for a good bar. Uh, because in commercial gyms, they're, they're shit bars, slick bars. They're bent, they're beat up. Um, so a lot of people, especially powerlifters, not really right. strong men, the powerlifters seem to be picky with bars. Yeah. Uh, I mean, good bars, a place to squat and bench, so some sort of rack or rig. Uh, and then past that, I mean, you can get somewhat inexpensive or creative with strongman equipment. You don't need calibrated plates. You don't need calibrated iron plates. Uh, I don't think you necessarily need bumpers. That's all good stuff, but bars, and you need a place to squat and bench. And then real quick, top favorite brands that you bought everything from, just go through them again for someone who's maybe starting to look at, purchase the stuff at their gym. What would you recommend? I would say Rogue. Rogue? Yeah. And then Their for strong quality man. for a strongman. Almost all my stuff here is beast metals. Beast metals. Um, cool. But Rogue makes good stuff. I mean, there's 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 a story behind every piece of equipment here, good and bad, and I don't need to get into that. But there's uh, uh, plenty of good equipment on Rogue, MB Power Center, Beast Metals makes good stuff, uh, and a Sornex makes good stuff. So, cool man. Well, there you have it, guys. Kind of the, the gym tour of my future Lions End Part Two, handed over by my man Alan Thrall. So uh, we got a kind of get him out of here so we can start changing some things around. But other than that, man, I just want to say thanks for your time. Thanks for the hookup. I appreciate it. I really wish you uh, got me the program or else we never have to be in this position, but... Me too. Lesson you know, learned. Things happen and he'll learn and grow from this in the future. What? what do you want? <laughs> well, then what do you want? Uh, hold on. <laughs> no, it's fine. It's all edited. And you'll say, uh, Blowjob. <laughs> <laughs> As Alan licks his lips. A fat blowjob. <laughs>